Good morning, everybody. This is Saturday, April the 13th, 2024, and it's cold. It's, um, I don't have a coat on, but I have my beaner hat on. Um, yeah, it's, uh, maybe 44 degrees, I think. No, 40. Uh, my, uh, thermostat here in the truck and the F-150 is telling me that it's 40 degrees and no that's not freezing but it's cold for an April morning mid-April but I am here down where we park Steven's trailer and he is on his way he is on his way and he is gonna be home probably in less than 10 minutes so I'm here down at uh, the trailer parking spot to wait for my hubby and my son to come home I'm not sure how long he'll be home for uh, maybe a week we got some business that we have to take care of Tuesday on the 16th that he had to be home for uh, some highly important business that we have to take care of that required his presence and required AJ's presence and so he had to cut his uh, trip short, so actually this will put him out 12 days. They'll, they le they left out on April the 1st, and this is April the 13th. So just minus a couple of weeks, um, 12, 13 days he's been out. But the last time he was out with AJ was a whole three weeks. And that may have been too much for AJ. That may have been too much for him to be out three weeks his first time out. So AJ's coming home for the second time. He's only had five days home since March the 3rd. It's a new way of life for AJ. It's a new way of life uh, being homeschooled by his dad and also just being on the road. It's just um, quite an adjustment. But he will be happy to see the cats He's always happy to see the cats. Not so much me, his mom, but he's happy to see our two lovely um, black cats that are brothers. AJ loves them so much, and he always looks forward to saying, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing our cats, our precious cats, but um, he's outgrown, sadly, sadly, he's outgrown the idea that he misses his mom. I'm not mommy anymore, and I haven't been for quite some time. I haven't been mommy to AJ in maybe a year and a half, two years, but it makes sense. I mean, he's going to be 12 next month, and I kind of miss those days. I kind of miss hugging and loving and holding my son, but he's just a year away from being a teenager, and he's growing up, and he needs his dad. Uh, as his mom, I had him for the first 11 and a half years of his life, um, well, really almost 12, and now um, his dad is carrying the mantle of bringing him into manhood. So, it's hard, you know? It, it's hard because I, I still want to be AJ's mommy, but I have to let that go. And he's like, don't, don't say mommy, um, and don't say I love you, and AJ doesn't even want me to tell him that I love him. Kind of sad. Anyway, Stephen will be here in a few minutes, and we'll check back with you in just a few minutes. And there he is. He's got a load on him. He's got to deliver tomorrow morning. He does come back with a load. Look at that.
know. He's still asleep and it's all of us? He's still asleep? How can he sleep through this? I told you, once the truck starts moving, he just goes out. So he... he you he, have to shake him and yell at him to bring him out. Is that right? So he's totally unaware. He's going to wake up at home then. Yeah. So tell me, tell us, tell the viewers what this is. Stuff for an electrician crew on a job site that I got to deliver it to. No, I don't know nothing about the job site. It's but I mean, Cumberland City, Tennessee. Cumberland. About 50 miles from there. Right. I was just telling everybody before you came that you were going to be home for a few days, but uh, but tomorrow morning you have to deliver this tomorrow morning. Monday. I mean, I mean, <laughs> today's Saturday. Monday morning. You have to deliver this on Monday morning. But it's only about 50 miles from the house, and then you'll be back. Yeah, I gotta try to get some tires for the trailer. Good shot. Cumberland City, Tennessee. Uh oh, uh uh, that's new. Yeah, the trailer does that. Oh, Steven! That is new! Terrible! The, tra the trailer did that. I mean, it, I, I mean, how does this? How does that happen? It just uh, skids up against it, or the fifth wheel isn't high enough. See how low the trailer is? Um, it needs a higher fifth wheel. Can you get a higher fifth wheel? See you at the house. Can you get? A, can you get a higher fifth wheel? Yeah, for about 500 to 1,000 bucks. Is that what it is? All right. All right, see you at the house. Hey, uh, give me a big honk when you leave. Just let AJ sleep. Just let him wake up at the house. Is that you think we should just do that? I'm not waking him up. Wake up on his own. So he's just gonna wake up at the, the house. Phone's been ringing off the hook. I think it's Tracy. His phone's been ringing off the hook. Yeah. You think Tracy's calling him? That's what I said. She must have saw that he was coming in town. I turn the lights off. Can't tell. Welcome home. I thought I'd turn the lights off.
sun just playing tricks on you? Uh, sun makes you think. Sunlight. The sunlight makes you think your lights are on. Well, look at it reflecting on there. Yeah, that's right. Well, welcome home. Well, thank you there, Ruthie Pooty. Love you.